and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. July. <laughs> See ya! It's August now and today I'm going to be talking about my July favourites. Now, if you've been following me on just on here and on social media throughout July, you'll know that I've had a terrible month of reading. Um, but I will start with my favourite book of the month. I've read three books in the month of July. It's, uh, it's still July now, it's July the 31st. There's a really slim chance I could finish one off today but my favourite book so far uh, from the month of July has been The Proof of Love by Catherine Hall, um, which has been a very, very enjoyable read. This I finished right at the beginning of the month, actually when I was on Holly Bobs um, with some other booktubers. Um, this follows the story of a chap called Spencer Little, who um, is a, maths, a professor of mathematics at Cambridge University, um, and he nips along... Can you hear those seagulls? And he nips along to... Um, nips along. He goes to the Lake District. I knew it was the Lake District, and Mercedes said it was the Peak District. District and it's not it's the Lake District he um, on the summer he goes to the Lake District um, following some sort of scandal at um, Cambridge that you don't fully find out the the what's going on but you know it's to do with the gay relationship so this book set in the 70s which is um, when homosexuality is still very much frowned upon and um, he goes to the Lake District um, uh, for the summer to work and find and falls in love with somebody there and also strikes up a really beautiful friendship um, with the young girl of uh, the family that he's staying with. Um, it all sort of builds up to this massive catastrophe that happens at the end and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I, um, it's, I, I remember um, saying to Mercedes that it felt, Mercedes has read this also, um, it felt very cosy for a book that was set in such a scorching summer and that constantly tells you how scorching this summer was um but yeah it's really um it's really beautiful and sets the scene and sets the characters up wonderfully for this catastrophe that happens at the end you expect it to be a really really quiet book the whole way through and then this big sort of event happens at the end um which really takes your breath away especially because you're you're so familiar with the characters and it's it's taken a long while to get there um so yeah very much enjoyed this we'll definitely be checking out some more of Catherine Hall stuff um thank you to Simon for buying this for me um, Simon bought this for me very early on in the year when um I filmed my book chat with Simon and um I bought him a book for him to read which was a cookbook actually and um he bought me this um as a recommendation and I really loved it so well done Simon you know me so well so other things that have been going on this month I've got a few things here with me oh I've got my tea bottle hold on Oh, so I've been getting very much into the cold brewing of teas and this is a cold brew bottle that I bought from the Bluebird Tea Company. There we go. They are tea mixologists um, and I've been to their store in Tunbridge Wells um, but they've also got one in Bristol and in Brighton, neither of which I've visited. Um, but I always find the staff in the Tunbridge Wells branch are so amazingly helpful and I love tea throughout the year. Um, I don't drink caffeine so a lot. I drink a lot of fruit teas. I also drink decaf tea but fruit teas are my fave and um, I'd seen on their Instagram account account um, that they have started this thing called cold brew tea so you put loose tea into here which you can see I've got here um, and then you steep it it's it like it tells you here four to six teaspoons for four plus hours I normally leave it overnight and then when you pour it out if I show you it's got like a little filter there so when you pour it out none of this tea goes in so you just get a, a a clear liquid that you can drink um, and I bought a number of teas from the um, the Bluebird Tea Company and have loved every single one of them. This one is my favourite that I've got in here now, I'm about to run out of it actually and that is Retro Ted. Um, I love coconut and rose flavoured things so this is like amazing for me. So this is coconut, pineapple, lemongrass and rose flavoured. I also got lemonade um, which is apple pieces, rose hips, lemongrass, orange peel. They all are amazing. And then sangria as well which is apple pieces, rose hip, orange peel, coconut, pineapple pieces, cardamom, lime peel and flavour. Flavour just says flavour. Um, and I've been having them with just water out of the tap. I've been having them with um, with sparkling water. When I was in there, the day that I was buying all of these, I got um, one of the testers that they had was um, ginger beer flavoured tea um, with lemonade, which was also delicious. David hated it because he hates ginger. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving this. I've been making up a bottle of this, taking it to work for the day and drinking it. I feel like I'm drinking much more fluids as well because I feel like, oh, I'm gonna drink that whole thing. Um, and I've really been loving it and I will definitely be using this going forward even into winter and stuff. I've just been adoring it. Let me know if you've got any flavour um, favourite loose tea and where you get it from because I'm interested in trying all sorts in here and also if you've got any um, that you don't use tea if you've just got any sort of like water um, water recipes that I can do some um, some cold brewing with as well but completely 
I'm in love with this, absolutely been adoring it all month long. Um, the next thing I've been enjoying is also food. Let's go carry out food and drink. Um, I have been eating lots of this, um, Joe DeLucci's Gelato. This is the coconut flavoured one, but I've also got strawberries and cream currently in my freezer. And um, my cousin and I were looking through the website. They do so many different flavours, including Parmesan. Um, Joe DeLucci's, I didn't realise when I bought this, but they own a chain of... Um, gelato stalls one of which being in blue water which is a big shopping center near to where i live um and i must next time i go to blue water i'll definitely be um be trying some more but this was just delicious it was so coconutty it had actual bits of coconut in as well and it just felt it just it didn't feel like ice cream it felt like something even more beautiful than that and the strawberries and cream one i've also got which has also been lovely that's sort of like um pink down one side with the strawberries and then the cream down the other and they're just really like high quality ice creams they come in these really nice pots i can chuck this away now i made david wash it up so i can show you um how much i enjoyed it but yeah absolutely delicious let me know if you've tried any of these flavors um aside from the coconut and the um the strawberries and cream because i just want to try all of them they had so many amazing flavors i'll link their website down below really good um and then one more physical thing to show you before i get on to experiences and events um i have been slowly um trying to oh god look i've made such a mess of this um i've been slowly um moving over to cruelty uh, free and vegan um products it's a very slow work in progress but every time i find a, a product that i really really love i stick with it and get really excited about it um and my most recent thing i've been looking to find are deodorants that are cruelty uh, free and vegan and i've managed to find this brand of deodorant, Schmitz. I believe they're US based, but I've managed to get them in. The first one I bought was this one, which is the Lavender and Sage one in Urban Outfitters. Um, it is pricey in terms of deodorant. So it's eight pounds was this one when I got it in um, Urban Outfitters. Um, and actually when I bought this from the website, it was 10 pounds. So they are pricier, but however, I haven't had to buy another one like the whole month. I bought this at the end of June um, and I bought this midway through July um, and I'm sort of alternating. I use the lavender and sage when I go to bed at night because it smells nice and then I use rose and vanilla during the day but they've got a whole host of um, flavours and flavours, scents and things and they just go on really well. Um, they do keep you smelling fresh throughout the day, particularly the lavender one. Um, I can when I wear this in the morning, I still smell of lavender in the afternoon. And I've done a few like get in there and smell my armpit test with some friends and um, they've been very impressed with it. But yeah, so they are slightly pricier than um, normal deodorants. However, I'm trying to get completely off of um, spray bottles um, and I feel really, really pleased. Like when, when I find a, a cruelty free product um, that is wonderful, I feel so excited about it. But if anybody else knows any other um, vegan or cruelty free um, deodorants roll on deodorants do let me know and um, the other one david and i have sort of been trying out this month I've got a lot of dust on my chair there um i've been trying out this month we got a sample of um a um deodorant powder from uh, lush the um the white powder david did not like the scent of so we got a um we got a sample of the gray powder which i think is called like gum gum powder or something maybe i don't know i'll think about it um and that is lovely, however, it does leave a grey mark under your armpit, so it's probably not the best one to be wearing in summer. But yeah, really, really impressed with Schmitz, really loving them, looking forward to trying another of their flavours. I think I might go for, I think there's a lime and cardamom next, I might go for that, yeah. Um, so two more things that happened in July. My sister got married! My sister got married this weekend. Here is my bouquet. Da, 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 da. I was a bridesmaid, look at that beautiful, it's a bit like bashed around now where I've been carrying it around, but the bouquet was just beautiful, it's got rosemary in it as well. So it smells really lovely. Um, but yeah, we had such a lovely, lovely weekend. It was like a whole weekend of fun and delightfulness. Um, my sister got married in um, an a, a, a animal reserve, a nature reserve where they've got a safari. Um, and it's called Port Lim. It's in Kent in England. And um, we just had such a beautiful, beautiful day. The ceremony was inside in this gorgeous room with loads of f um, beautiful paintings of animals. Um, she looked gorgeous. Um, it was just such a lovely day. The food was amazing. We danced all night. We went on a safari as part of it, which was amazing and hilarious because it rained while we were on the safari and we were all like screaming and <laughs> trying to keep in the middle of the safari truck so we didn't get wet. Um, we saw giraffes so up close. I've never seen them so close before. We got stuck in a bit of a giraffe traffic jam actually um and they um they were in the road for about 40 minutes and we just had to sort of wait for them to move uh, which was really fun um and yeah it was just such a such a gorgeous weekend like 
I always knew it was going to be amazing because my sister was getting married, but it was just so lovely and I, we just loved the whole day there. They couldn't have done enough for us at Port Lim and all the people that were there just all loved it and it just felt like everyone had a really, everyone was in such high spirits and we all just had such a great time. Um, and yeah, it was just brilliant. And then we followed that up with a barbecue at my parents' house yesterday, um, which was really nice and her friends came along and we all just have a little sort of debrief of the wedding, which was just lovely. Yeah, which was such a nice, nice weekend. I just felt full of love afterwards. Um, so that was a really, really lovely um, thing. And then the last thing um, was that I went on holiday earlier this month um, with some fellow booktubers with Mercedes, Eleanor and Caitlin. Um, we had a great time at um, Eleanor's parents' place in... Um Dorset is such a gorgeous, gorgeous house, really beautiful beach, we did some reading, we filmed a video on Eleanor's channel, I'll link that down below, and I vlogged the whole weekend, which I will also link down below, but yeah, July's been lovely, not much for reading, but a really, really lovely month, busy month, um, of lots of like my favourite things, looking at these favourite things now, sometimes I have to really think, oh, what's been my favourite, but these three things, the, the gelato, the tea, and the deodorant, I was just new, as soon as I got my hands on them, I was like, they're my favourite things for the month. I've been loving them so much. So really, really enjoyed July. Um, I hope you guys all had a lovely July. Let me know what you've been up to. Let me know if you've tried any of these products before. I'll hold this little bouquet here as a little wedding thing. Da, 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 da. And I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video.